It's our pleasure to declare that the uh, Main Power Stadium officially open. Mayor Dan Gordon and North Canterbury Sport and Recreation Trust Chair Don Robinson cut the ribbon today in front of hundreds of residents who had braved the rain and snow to attend the official opening of the Main Power Stadium. Well it's been a long time in the making, over 20 years. I think it means a lot to our community, to our young athletes, to all our sports people, to those that are going to use it more broadly as a multi-use facility. Seeing the numbers here today to me is evidence just how much it does mean to the community and it's a great deal. Visitors were able to take tours and explore the various rooms, including the central fitness centre, main court area and coaching and meeting spaces. Inside the main court area, local teams got their first chance to try out the courts and put on sport demonstrations for the guests. Yeah, it's really good, thank you. It's pretty mean, yeah. Even though I don't play basketball that much, it's actually pretty cool. The building was designed by Warren and Marnie Architects and built over the course of 18 months by Lee's Construction. The stadium was completed on time, despite a short delay due to the COVID lockdowns last year. At 6,000 square metres in size and featuring four standard size courts, the community facility is the largest to be constructed in the district. Thank you. It will be managed by the North Canterbury Sport and Recreation Trust, who, along with local sporting clubs, have been eagerly awaiting the opening of the stadium, as the district's expanding population has outgrown available court space. This is a game changer for the community. It's state of the art, we've got everything we could possibly need and it's leading edge stuff. Just look out there at the number of kids we've got playing and everything like that. And that's through our primary school coaching program. We've got a great team and we're just really excited about the opportunities. And his sentiments seem to be echoed by the hundreds of happy faces seen around the stadium today, ensuring that this facility will be a valued asset for the community for many years to come.